Get the best total deal on the new Ford F-150 at Super Duty. Well, we all know what that means. It's time to take a look into the world of sports. As you can see, I'm joined by our sports reporter, Jasmine McCoy. And Jasmine, a nice day in sports. A nice day in sports. We got the Charlotte Hornets hitting the court for their first preseason game tonight. We also have a college commitment from a high school native here in Charleston. But first, we got to start with undefeated Coastal hitting the field to take on Troy. It was a close game fourth quarter with five minutes left, and Coastal will find the end zone to extend their lead. But that Trojan defense will step up, and they will force an interception and will take over as they trail by five points. Troy will move the chains and their third and goal they score to take the lead. Coastal now trailing by eight with 39 seconds left in regulation. Quarterback Grayson McCall will find JV on Hiley for the game winning touchdown. Troy with one last chance, but the Chanticleers have other plans. Defense steps up big as Coastal will recover the ball with 20 seconds left. And number 13, Coastal Carolina remains undefeated as they defeat Troy 42 to 38 and move 11 and 0 on the season. And well, the NBA is finally back as the Charlotte Hornets will hit the court for their first preseason game as they take on the Toronto Raptors tonight. The Hornets added some new pieces to the team with small forward guard Gordon Hayward, who was previously with Boston, and the third overall draft pick LaMelo Ball. But the Hornets even drafted College of Charleston's Grant Riller. And here's what he had to say on if he gets to see some minutes on the floor tonight. Still early. Uh, I've only been here probably about a week, so I'm still trying to get my feet wet and it's still early. Um, but if I do get the opportunity to go out there um, and get some minutes, um, the main thing I'm focusing on right now is just trying to just trying to play the right way, um, find guys, uh, defend at a high level, um, and, and trying to make my niche right there. And after going undefeated and making it to the playoffs, First Baptist had to cancel the remainder of their season due to COVID-19. But senior linebacker Mikey Blandon will get the chance to continue his football career and won't be going too far as he committed to the Citadel. He spoke with me today about his decision. I'm trying to plan for my future and Citadel, it was telling me all the right things that I needed to hear. And on the on the plus side, they play big boy football too. And it just it just like I feel like I couldn't go wrong and I just had went with my gut. So luckily I get to continue my future and stuff at Citadel. I just it's just like a blessing. It's a blessing. Cause I to be honest with you, I never thought I'd get a D one offer. Even though I knew I could ball a little bit, but I never thought I'd get a D one offer to be hundred percent real with you. But it's just a blessing. Just got to take it in. Keep pushing. Low Country Catch of the Day is sponsored by Towboat U.S. Charleston. Let's take a look at our Low Country Catch of the Day. Mount Pleasant native Ava Kate holding a trout she caught in Bluffton, South Carolina at her grandparents' house. We appreciate the picture, Ava. And here's how you can see your catch of the day on the news. Send us an email with a picture of you and your catch. Write the subject as my catch of the day. Don't forget to tell us your name, where you caught it, and the size. We'll pick one every day and air it at the end of our show. A sweet photo there. Sweet fishing photo. with the grandparents. Yes, I know. <laughs> I wish I could go fishing. I've never been. I know everyone's always so surprised by that but I think I've never been day. either <laughs> what, what, what we need to go fishing we, to go we might fishing. need to just do that together and submit our picture no and maybe we could be our the catch of the day no, that would be really really cool but yeah big big stuff in sports today it's exciting and the 11 o'clock show is going to be even better we got more highlights hornets Ah, oh, it's going to be a good day <laughs> well that's all the time we have the news continues online at counton2.com we'll see you back here tonight at 11.